In today's video, I'm taking inspiration from the recent Southeast Regional Championship and I'm going to dive into a line from the Kelso opening that has a pretty spectacular defense. The opening is 10-15, which forms the Kelso. 21-17, which is the best initial reply to the Kelso opening. And 6-10. Now, 11-16 is probably the best defense to the 21-17 initial reply. This 6-10 while it opens up the double corner, as you'll see, and White is in a strong position, there are still good chances for both sides. So, let's get into the game. So after Red's 6-10, White has a number of attacks at his disposal here. It can go here next, here, or here. Probably the most feared attack is the 17-14 exchange striking into the heart of Red's double corner and really opening it up. So Red can't go here because that'll further destroy the double corner, so instead Red's going to jump this way. Now as you can see there's not a whole lot of real estate in Red's double corner now, so protecting it further at all costs is necessary. Now the general theory of this opening is to prevent white from capturing this square and furthering cement its own double corner. That's the general theory in this opening. So what red does to stop that from happening is it goes here. Now white can't go here because now red can just exchange off and capture this key center square. So white is going to hold off on developing into this important square. So now what white does is it's going to focus on developing its single corner as the best form of attack. And white does that by moving here. And now red waits. It doesn't want to develop into this square too early. So an important waiting move is here. Now I know this may seem unnatural, but if it goes somewhere like here, white can now play this because the center exchange isn't going to work because of the two for two, and then having this piece, this red piece ultimately on the square being completely vulnerable. So instead, this is the best waiting move for red. Now white is going to continue to develop its single corner. Red is going to wait here next as part of the Walter Hellman defense. Now, white can't go here because of this two for two. So again, continuing to wait and continuing to wait. Now, red can go on to this square. White is going to go on to this square next and it's a bit of an uphill climb for red. It's all sound, but my preference is actually moving here and now white can go here next, but this is all very sound and part of the spectacular defense which I'm going to show for red. So after white goes here, red is going to develop here. Now, white can go here, red can go here next, and then the bind, this is the sound move for red. I actually played this in the recent tournament and lost against Moiseev. Instead, this is the sound move. But let's back it up. Instead, this is also a very powerful move. Now, red is going to go here next, again, threatening, taking the center control. White exchanges out. And now this is where the great defense comes in. Red takes a surprising move here. Very surprising. Totally destroying its double corner and allowing white to get in for a king. But how it does it is also very surprising. So white's going to go here next. Red's going to move up. Now white has to be careful. It can't just advance to get a king because red has the two for one here. So that's no good. So instead, what white does is it pitches this piece here, breaking up this three-piece column and maintaining a very solid defensive line here, even though it's a piece down. Now red has to be very careful. White is going to go in, 
to try to get a king. And now the idea here is for red to eventually trade out in the single corner, but how it does it, it has to be very creative. So red's going to wait. White's just going to continue to get a king, and now red is going to try to make an inroad into the single corner. White's going to get a king. White is going to threaten these pieces coming up here. And now white can wait. It can go back, but it can continue to attack this these pieces here. What red does next is it pitches this piece, putting a piece in front of the king, and now moving here next as a star move. Now, white can just try to get another king. But red is now going to pitch out into this single corner. And now this white piece can move out of the way. Red is going to go here. White can't go here because of the two for one. And really, regardless of where white goes next, if it goes here, the red piece is just going to pitch out and red is going to get a king. There's a little bit of work to do, but it's a solid draw here as these pieces can ultimately move into the king row. So fantastic defense and a solid draw game. All right, now let's take a look at it, but this time from the white perspective. So again, the opening is 10-15, 21-17, and 610. Now again, white has an array of attacks. The 1714 striking into the heart of red's double corner is probably best. And then again, as I mentioned, the general theory in this opening is to prevent white from getting onto this square. So red prevents that by moving 1116 first. Key waiting moves from both sides. And now again, red can go here. White can go here, white can go here. But again, I prefer going into the double corner and then facing this move once you know the spectacular line, which hopefully you all know now. Now here it is, the key move for this defense. Again, white cannot go in for a king because of this two for one. So instead, it pitches first, breaking up this column. But now it can go in for a king. the pitch to save this defense. And then again, it doesn't matter where white goes here. It can go here, it can try to follow up with the king, but either way, red is going to exchange out in the next move and then have the open path to get more kings. So again, a solid, great defense, great draw. I hope you enjoy this particular game and defense from Red. And if you're thinking these are complicated themes and ideas, that's okay. They are complicated. My goal of showing you these games is to open your mind to new moves, maybe moves you would have never considered previously, such as this radical exchange for Red, which saves this defense. There are exceptions to general strategic concepts in checkers and always keep an open mind when considering new moves. Thanks, as always, for watching.